Today we will look at how DNA analysis is used in forensics. Today we will be trying to solve the crime of who killed the husband. The husband is our victim and the other suspects involved are the ex-wife, the stepmom, the daughter, and the maid. So the daughter was from these two and then the stepmom came into the picture and then there was a maid that was there as well. The husband was murdered on Friday the 13th and we will be figuring out who did the crime. We will be using VNTR variable number of tandem repeats to solve the crime. We will be amplifying the DNA found at the crime scene in order to make a DNA fingerprint. In order to observe the differences in DNA, we will be using gel electrophoresis. After the crime, we took DNA samples from all the suspects and the victim to produce two VNTR loci, which were ran on separate gels to create the DNA fingerprints. VNTR 1 and 2 both came from the same sample, which was a lock of hair, but were amplified at different loci. In order to pinpoint the criminal, the suspect's DNA fingerprints must match the sample at each VNTR loci. If the suspect does not match the sample, they can be excluded because that proves that it was not them and not their DNA that was left at the crime scene. So here's our sample. First, let's take a look at the husband. The husband is the victim. He doesn't match at either, obviously, because he was the victim and he did not commit the crime to himself. Next, we will look at the ex-wife. So they were married and had the daughter. The ex-wife shares some DNA with the sample, but not both. And like I said, suspect needs to match both DNA at both loci. We can also take a note and see that the husband is the father of the daughter and has a matching DNA, 50% of the DNA at both VNTR loci, or this one and this one, and that the ex-wife also shares the other 50% of the daughter here and here. Now we can take a look at the stepmom. At VNTR1, she matches both DNA of the sample, and at VNTR2, she also matches. Her DNA fully matches the samples at both loci. We're not going to accept her as the criminal just yet because we have two more suspects to look at. Next, we're looking at the daughter. She has 50% with the husband and the other 50% with the ex-wife or the mom, but she doesn't share any at sample at VNTR1. However, she does match fully at VNTR2, but because she doesn't match fully at VNTR1, we can exclude her because she would need to match fully at both loci. Lastly, we can look at the maid who does fully match at VNTR1. So we'll see if she matches at VNTR2, but she only has 50% DNA matching the other sam matching the sample. So she can also the maid is also excluded and we can conclude that the stepmom did the crime. And after further looking into the crime, we figured out that the stepmom had killed the husband for his life insurance to take all the money for herself. And that will conclude my last and final genetics mini exam video.